this month is about to be executed. In Kyoto, Japan's imperial capital, people gather at the riverbed to watch the beheading. The monk had incurred the wrath of the retired emperor. This took place early in the 13th century, just after the establishment of a military regime at Kamakura, which marked the beginning of Japan's medieval age. Still, in Kyoto, the authority of the retired emperor reigned supreme. To anger the retired emperor meant death. Members of the palace guard surround the monk. Behind him stand two prison wardens. They were once criminals, but have been pardoned. Now it is their job to do the beheading. Further, in the rear, are two more wardens dressed in black robes. One holds a long pole. Their clothing is decorated with a bold printed pattern. These robes were especially gorgeous. Commoners could not hope to wear such fine clothing. Exquisite dress was the mark of persons of rank in society. But these men, these executioners, were they not from the lowest social order? Were they not human, literally non-humans? Precisely because of their non-human status, they were granted special permission to wear fancy garb. These men, who competed with each other in the wearing of fancy robes, who strutted about in stately fashion in clear contradiction of social convention, the outlandish behavior of these men was known as basara. Naturally, people in power did not approve, but no matter how many laws were issued, the basara craze remained unsuppressed. Even after 100 years, it had not diminished in strength. In fact, bizarre behavior became even more widespread in Japanese society. 